There you go. Let's take a look at this. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to pronounce this wrong. Creval 24 HCO. This one's uh, marked at 148.775. There's a boat show. They said options are your power pole, your upgrade 300 from the 250, and the Minn Kota trolling motor. And we got Brandon, and you are yes. from? South Florida Marine. South Florida Marine, okay. Yep, we're a local Creval dealership in Boynton Beach, Florida, about 45 minutes from Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. Okay, so it's pronounced Creval. Creval. Okay, yep. so earlier when I butchered the name of it, now we, now we know. Yeah. All right, uh, Brandon, why don't you uh, take us through this 24-foot uh, HCO. It looks yeah. like a bay boat, or is it a hybrid? It's a hybrid boat. Okay. Right. So 24 foot, start from the back, you have the 300 Suzuki, has a single power pole on this model. You can go for dual power poles if you'd like. Six inch jack plate is going to be standard on this boat. Coming forward, you're gonna have twin 28 gallon live wells. They are going to be insulated as well as pressurized. That's gonna be on either side. You also have a jump seat which is really nice. Okay. And twin coolers, which can be opened pretty easily. It can be on either side. Okay, coolers. And as you were talking, sink, as well as some storage and some tackle. Right there. Okay. It's a nice little tackle area. So is it, and I've noticed some boats will offer different options for back here. Right. Um, is, do you... This is the standard one. Okay. It can be changed slightly if you wanted to get rid of the sink or something like that. It can be added, but this is going to be the standard one that most of the time you're going to see. Okay. So you can't add like a live well back here or a bench seat or... No, no, okay. no live well. Bench seat's going to be a little tight, so we usually don't have that. Okay. As I said, the two live wells are going to be back here, and there's also right. a forward live and well. Those, which we'll and get the, to. yeah, the ones back here are enormous, and I actually like this table area, especially with the sink. Um, for whether you're out with the family or you're doing your own fishing with live bait and being able to wash stuff of course. overboard. So as we come forward, I wanted to touch on the sill leather. So this is actually a silicone based leather. It's not going to, when, you, when you're fishing, things like that, you get blood on it, it's not going to stain. The reason why you see so much white in this boat is because this will not take any dyes, it won't take any color, so it has to be white. So that is why you see so much white. But also on the good side, you're not going to get that blood stain, red wine, soda, all that stuff will wash right off of this leather. Okay, so a question about that. And I grew up in the Midwest where we cover our boats. Mm -hmm. uh, seems like down in the South and I live in Alabama now. No, people are allergic to boat covers. I, yeah. I, I don't know why. It's not, you know, to take care of your $100,000 boat and you of don't course. cover it up. Well, this material, is it, the material itself uh -huh. will hold up better than any material you'll see on a boat. Your typical vinyl and right. Stuff the like only that. Okay. issue that comes in is the threads. Okay. You know, the thread is always going to split when it comes to too much sun. That's right. going to be every boat, everywhere. It's going to be our issue. Right. So the leather, the sill leather, will hold up better, but the threads are the unfortunately it is marine what it gray is. threading is is what it is. Exactly. Okay. All right. Exactly. So why don't you take us through the the helm here and yeah, up in the helm. You're gonna have your jack plate controls. This is Sea Star's trim tabs. So what's nice about this is as you turn, it's a dial. So you're gonna be able to shift the boat left and right with the trim tabs on a dial instead of using buttons. So it's a little bit more user friendly. Okay. You also have fly-by-wire throttle by Suzuki. And then your jack plate up and down is going to be on a flick switch at the helm. 12 inch Garmin screens, really nice. Fusion radio. What is also nice is it is push button battery switch. So you're not crawling into the helm to get that, the batteries turned on. Give it a second here. And is there an option for like a second screen or? Yes, second screen is optional on this um, boat. Do you go any bigger than the 12 inch or is that where we you're kind of limited to, because of the size of the... Right, we can go to a 16, 
Um, don't normally recommend it. You'll see it on a few of our other models, the 16, but the, most of the time we do a single 12 or dual 12s if you want it, or a single 16. Go in here, you'll see that all of the lights are going to be on the dash. These are just your main emergency stuff, nav lights, horn, bilge, stuff like that. But all of your other switches are going to be integrated into the Garmin system. So you'll see you're gonna have anchor light, nav light, and then you have cockpit lights, overhead lights, stuff like that is all going to be on the Garmin screen. Okay, so that's nice. Embracing technology and, and trying to make everything one right. place stop, so. Fortunately and, for, and unfortunately, the marine industry has definitely seen that switches go bad. Yes. Screens typically don't go bad as quickly. You know, five, okay. seven years you're gonna see a screen go bad, but most of the time you're gonna see a switch so that, go bad a lot faster. That was faster. a question I was gonna have is, yes, marine environment is horrible on electronics. Right. Um, especially once you get into the salt water and stuff. Of course. It, uh, so we are seeing more reliability in when it's integrated into the MDF or the yes. touchscreen or whatever, as opposed to independent switches. Without a doubt. Okay. Without a doubt. So, again, I'm gonna turn this off for us. That will kill everything. Moving up to the front. You got lots of space up here, casting deck. All of this cushion is removable. These backrests also removable. And as I said, cushions are all removable. And then those two backrests, are they interchangeable? So you can yep, exactly. forward or backwards, I guess? So you can go forward or backwards, as you were saying. Sorry, they're on pressure. <laughs> so. That's all right. When I try to do this stuff one hand yeah. and hold the camera, it just yeah. So the pressure, the pressure is also what holds it in. So it definitely helps. Yeah, and Running I would much 40, rather 50 miles an hour. be hard to get in and hard to get out, knowing it's not gonna right come out when I'm going down the road or going out in the water at 50 miles an hour. Right. As you go, pull this out on both sides. You've got lockable rod storage. Both of these are insulated as well, so they can be used as fish boxes. Oh, nice, okay. And then are those drainable into yep. the bilge or? Nope, they all drain outside. Okay. Above, exactly. As well as your deck. Your deck is all self bailing as well, so you're not going to get anything going into the bilge. Okay. And this is your third live well, also insulated. Okay, and this is pressurized as well as the back. This two. one is not pressurized. Okay, this wasn't isn't. But yeah, the back we wanted two are. to leave the the problem with the pressurization in the front is with all the bouncing, you're gonna have water running out onto the floor, onto your feet. So by using not pressurizing the front one, you're not going to have all that water running onto the deck and okay. hitting your feet and things like that. Finally, 36 volt trolling motor and anchor storage. Okay. Okay, and quick question. Yeah. What does Treval, mm -hmm. what does that brand offer over another brand? What, what, is, well, what is something they excel in? The ride is really what is excelled. Creval was one of the first really the first industry leader in a hybrid boat. So they came out with this 24 about 12 years ago. It is before the Yellowfin hybrids, before the Pathfinder hybrids, all that kind of stuff. The 24 foot was their, really their flagship. You're getting a superior ride because of 12 years of innovation versus most other companies only having four years of hybrid innovation, things like that. So you definitely get a better ride out of the Creval's over anything else. You also get a lot of features that you're not normally getting. This is a family style fishing boat versus most other boats you're gonna see either geared way towards fishing, you know, you're gonna get the pressurized live wells, you're going to get the better depth finder, you're gonna get the power bowl, things like that, or you're gonna get a family boat where 
there isn't live wells, there isn't very much good uh, casting deck, you're not going to get the power pole thing like that at going on a family boat. Okay. So this has the best of both worlds in that, in that sense. Okay, great. One last thing I want to look at, and this is just my little pet peeve, is we're going to check out the wiring behind. Yeah. It's dark in there. Hopefully this will pick up. So, okay. So we can pull that for you. So it is tucked away. Not quite as organized as some, but much, much better than other boats. This is a pet peeve of mine. I'm an air, of aircraft by, mechanic by, by trade. So I know running wires and organizing, making it nice and neat is not that much of a labor. Right. But it will save hours upon hours when you're troubleshooting, when you're trying to find yeah. that one wire or that component you need to replace. And I don't understand why the budget-friendly boats it, it looks like bird's nest under there. I'm like, yeah. if you're if you're wanting to compete with the guys, I understand they're skimping on maybe your materials or thinner fiberglass in places and so. But the way you run your wiring shouldn't. Right. Uh, but I totally understand. I totally agree. I was a I was a mechanic for three four years in the marine industry, and that was definitely wire. I mean. As you said, saltwater wreaks havoc on all electronics, including wiring. And yeah, that's, it's not a matter a of issue. if, it's, it's a matter of when you're going to have to change some, something electrical. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. absolutely. Okay, thank you very much, Brandon. No problem. We Thanks appreciate it. Me.